Hello, Phil. Well, what is my globe traveling lawyer? How are you, Fine, Tom? thanks. Come in, come in, come in. Yep. When did you get back to town? Oh, about an hour ago. I stopped in at my office and found your wedding invitation. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but uh, isn't this a little sudden? Yes, it is. And I couldn't be happier. Headstrong, romantic young fool that I am. <laughs> Wait till you get to know Maggie better. You will love her. Oh, I'm sure. Any wife of yours is a new client of mine. <laughs> well, it's very good to see you, and I'm really glad that you made it. Well, and not a moment too soon. Uh, both of you have to sign this before the ceremony, or it's not legally binding. Sign? What? Well, it's your prenuptial agreement. <laughs> what do I need that for? Just in case things don't work out and you wind up getting a divorce. Oh, Tom, what Maggie and I have is very, very special. We would never get divorced. Well, nobody plans to, Phil, but it happens. It's just one of those unpleasant facts of life, like death and taxes and Howard Cosell. <laughs> Without that agreement, a wife could take you for a big chunk of your assets. Oh, not my Maggie. <laughs> It's simply not in her nature. She's a wonderful woman. Oh, they turn on you, Phil. Believe me, divorce does that. I don't want to discuss this anymore. Uh, Mr. Drummond, I know I shouldn't poke my nose in this. Well, then don't. But you should really listen to your lawyer. I once owned a chain of 11 gift boutiques, but my ex-wife cleaned me out. She got everything, right down to the last porcelain puppy. <laughs> oh, it broke my heart. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I wake up every night screaming, the check is in the mail. <laughs> if you won't listen to your lawyer, at least listen to your florist. <laughs> now, look, I'm sure you're right about Maggie. But why gamble? Now, think of your kids. I've seen divorce cases where children have lost their inheritance. Now, I'm not speaking now as your lawyer. I'm speaking as your friend. Oh, good. That's a lot cheaper. <laughs> well, at least let me talk to Maggie about it. No. I'd rather you didn't. I'll bet anything she'll want this agreement. It's reciprocal. It's protecting her, too. It is? Mm -hmm. Well, I hadn't thought of it that way. Uh, Phil, trust me. I've handled lots of these agreements, and I know exactly how to approach people. Now, just let me talk to her. You'll both thank me later. Hi, honey. Don't hi, honey me. I want to talk to you, Buster, alone. Buster? Maggie, what is it? You know perfectly well what it is. Now, Maggie, please. My, she seems a little upset. That's nothing. You should see her when she gets mad. <laughs> it looks like she's gonna tie the knot around Dad's neck. <laughs> you had to send your high-priced hatchet man to do your dirty work for you. Don't you even have the decency to insult me in person? Of course I do. I, I mean, I, I, I don't. I mean, I don't want to insult you at all. Th this is all... A, a terrible mistake. My point, exactly. The wedding's off. What? You can't mean that. Empty that vase. The wedding is off. It is not. Fill that vase. <laughs> Maggie, you can't do this. Now, we've got to talk this out. There's nothing to talk about. You obviously have a very low opinion of me if you think I'm after your precious fortune. No, of course I don't think that. Then why the prenuptial agreement? Is that what this is all about? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Dump them, honey. <laughs> it's none of your business. You mind your own Ramaki. <laughs> right, he's only trying to protect what's his. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> now, Maggie, this whole thing was my lawyer's idea. Ask the florist, he was there. Oh, I swear, I even helped talk Mr. Drummond into it. Philip, it's clear that you don't trust me and that is no way to make a marriage. As far as I'm concerned, you can just, you can just empty that face. Oh. <laughs> now, Maggie, Maggie, please, look, I know I made a mistake, but that is no reason to throw out everything that we have. I love you very much. Huh. It's a little late for sweet talk. You really blew it. <laughs> She's right. Goodbye, Philip. <laughs>